Welcome back, everybody. And now to keep our kids motivated to learn, here's Mr. J. Hall once again with the last of his lessons on specials in today's Schoolhouse 7. Welcome back to Schoolhouse 7. This is Specials Week. Welcome to Specials Day 5. Today we're going to physical education class. So let's start off by talking about 10 things that we cover in phys ed at school and 10 things you could promote and support at home. Number one is physical fitness, strength, endurance, and flexibility through exercise. Number two, support physical skills like throwing and catching, running, jumping, and climbing. Number three, help your students at home build bone strength through exercise, diet, like calcium and vitamin D. Number four, phys ed is great for stress reduction because we talk about nutrition sleep, exercise, and hydration. Same as number five, anxiety and depression, sleep, music, dance, yoga, all these things help. We cover that in phys ed. Number six, relationships. Absolutely, we have mutual respects for the other teams. We have teammates, sportsmanship, and positivity. Athletics and phys ed also works on memory and concentration, like long-term and short-term, and coding and storage, and so on. Eight, Phys Ed builds self-confidence because you focus on your strengths, you self-talk, and you experience accomplishments. Number nine, we also teach life skills and survival, navigating, building a shelter, first aid, and so on. And lastly, 10, Phys Ed is part of a healthy lifestyle through fitness, nutrition, and relaxation. So what are some cool things we could actually make at home for Phys Ed? How about a braided jump rope made with recycled bags? All you have to do is cut the bottoms out and then attach them by just folding them through each other. And pretty soon you'll have three and then you could braid them and make a full-size jump rope. Really cool. If your kids make it, they'll use it. What about the balloon thing in the morning? Play keep the balloon up. This gets your arms, your legs, and your hands loosened for a day of work. Next, we have those basketball players out there like I was. My coach would say, break the wrist like a duck. So put a bowl out and toss socks into it. And lastly, do what we do here at our home. We come up with an activity calendar for the month to use moderate to vigorous physical activities, and we ensure that we do them one a day. Like, for instance, on the fourth, we played a game of tag. Um, today we're actually going to have a dance party after the show and tomorrow we'll be building a cup tower. But as you can see we have different things like 10 push-ups or take a long family walk. So there it is. Do one of these things at home. Promote physical education. This was day five. We'll see you next week. Keep reading, keep writing, but most importantly be safe. Thanks Mr. Hall. You can find out more or email Mr. Hall at jhallbuffalo at gmail.com. That's why I feel like I'm meant to call him Mr. Hall because he is a teacher sending us back to school.